pumasok, hindi ko ipapatulog sa So what's up gentlemen and ladies, welcome to another episode of Project Gentlemen where here we love to talk about the things that help us win in life. And as you've seen on the intro of this video, we see the government officials towing a car from a certain individual and we know that there are really a lot of uh, arguments and retaliation on that moment. And of course, I don't want these things to happen to you guys, which I'm really grateful to all of you. We have this uh, little community that we have. Uh, the goal of this video or of this series or basically of this channel is to help at least reduce uh, some of these problems or inconvenience out there on the roads. We love to talk about wisdom and you know avoiding such uh, headaches. So today I'm gonna be talking about some of the most important things uh, that you need to know first before getting a car. I know that some of you might be looking here in our channel. You have been on the market looking for that dream car of yours. And again, we're so grateful for these people right here who said that uh, we were able to help them in their car buying decision. We celebrate with you on that one, guys. Congratulations to all of you who are now getting your dream cars. So going back, whether you just got your car or whether you're still about to get one, uh, I believe that this topic or these things are gonna really be important to you and hopefully it could possibly save your time or your life so the first thing of course that you need before buying a car i know that this one is really basic but still i wanted to make this my first point and highlight this one and this is gonna be first you need a driver's license I know that a lot of us here, we are doing our best to follow the rules, follow the government ordained regulations. But I know that there are also a lot out there on the roads that, especially here in the Philippines, uh, that they didn't secure one. And um, unfortunately, that's basically a big percentage of the problems that we're encountering on the road, crashes, accidents, because there are a lot out there who, you know, don't have a driver's license. And I just wanted to make sure as well, a driver's license, getting one, and not just getting one, but to make sure that is that a legit or an official driver's license uh, provided by the government. Because as much as I hate it, and I hope this is not occurring anymore, but there are ways to get one in an illegal way. Uh, a lot of people are getting driver's licenses through connections through ways that are really not good so i hope if you're watching this video you're thinking about it i hope that you don't do it or you share this video guys to uh, anyone that you're thinking or you, you know that will be getting a car because as we know there are too many uh, kamotes as we call it in the philippines and i hope we don't add to the number of kamotes and speaking of kamotes guys they are also one of the problems of like uh, road rage or uh, troubles out there on the road. There are too many of them. So that is also our advocacy here in the channel. Uh, that is the meaning basically of uh, chivalry. It means that we have respect and uh, courtesy towards other people. If we notice someone who is driving crazily, let's be a better person and just let them. Eventually, they will end in their own mousetrap. And if you've noticed in most of our merch, we are very big in uh, crowns in our design that's because i want to let you know guys and i want to ingrain in you guys that uh, we are royalty we are supposed to be you know uh, better we are supposed to be thinking highly than others uh, royal people don't just engage in uh, any trouble right they don't just do things that uh, a lot of people do so that's my hope that some of us will be different that is why if you want to be reminded daily of this awesome truth to think differently, act differently. I encourage you to get any of our Project Gentleman merch available on Lazada and TikTok shop. The next thing that is really important to know if you're gonna get a car is do you really know how to drive? 
because as I mentioned earlier, there are ways to getting your license illegally. This is one of the causes of problems out there as well. There are a lot of people who have licenses but don't really know how to drive. So I hope you guys also do your uh, due diligence to study, to learn some of the best practices in driving. The next thing that you should know as well before buying a car is do you have the basic knowledge in uh, car ownership like uh, changing tires some basic troubleshooting for this one i think this is gonna be a whole different topic i think i'm gonna be doing a whole separate video about this it will be on the end screen once it's uploaded so yeah it's really important that we have uh, the basic knowledge of troubleshooting and not just troubleshooting but even taking care of our cars because having trouble on the road is one as well of the problems that causes inconvenience to other drivers or motorists next before you buy a car do you think that you have the discipline to yourself to follow or obey traffic rules and regulations this is going back to what we've seen uh, some of the problems as well on the road is a lot of people really don't know where to park how long they could stay on a certain area or doesn't even know traffic rules counter flowing we're going on roads that we shouldn't be taking this is one of the uh, most common problems guys that i hope that we uh, in our community change we don't do these things and start with ourselves and this leads me to my next point which uh the good question that you'll need to ask is do you have a parking space just going back to our topic of you know being a hindrance or being an obstacle out there on the road i know that there are still a lot of people who still place their cars on front of their houses even though it's not the right parking space or it is a main road to their area so this is not to condemn i know that it's really difficult i've been there actually when we're choosing a car that's why uh, one of the uh, factors i considered was a small car or a hatchback like a toyota we go because the parking is really difficult in some of our communities here but like i mentioned before uh, thank god that we found a somewhat a better place which has a better parking you know or i mean there's a roof over the parking space so that's a bonus but just securing your own parking space could help a lot in our country so next you're not just paying for the monthly amortization the monthly payment but there are unforeseen expenses like the preventive maintenance once you're finished with your free pms you'll start paying for it uh, paying for the oil and uh, with the filter and etc you also need to expect the budget for your fuel especially if you chose a car that has a bad fuel economy or bad fuel consumption car wash you need to consider that as well and of course the accessories that you might need or want because sometimes you know it just really feels good when we have the accessories that we want to put on our car and perhaps the biggest unforeseen expense as well uh, that you might need to know maybe you just want to get a car but you don't know that there is a yearly insurance that you need to set aside money for i'll just give you guys a range of how much you might want to save up for it could be uh, maybe from 16 17 000 to up to 25 000. there are different prices there are different insurance companies so uh, you just do your best to inquire yeah it is important to be knowledgeable about the yearly insurance of your car so second to the last thing that you might want to know as well is uh, financially can you afford it this is not to discourage but of course i always encourage you to get a car right for your family's convenience and comfort but we also need to be wise we also need to make sure that uh, this would be a blessing not a burden and sometimes when we force things out that is when we get problems uh, we struggle financially and in case you didn't know i just wanted to share this uh, wisdom that i got from uh, the bible itself the best book of uh, wisdom and principles it says there that uh, the blessing of the lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow to it so if that's something that adds to your quality of life and it's coming from the lord i can assure you that uh, you won't really have headaches you won't have troubles with it because it is from him and you know that uh, you're doing your best as well to work to you know earn if you just have that healthy balance you won't have any worries about getting the things that you need in life even if they cost a little bit of a high price if you need it 
he's gonna give it to you if you seek him and you follow him with all of your heart and you do your best as well to do something about what you want so i hope this video has helped you guys in your car buying decision this has been running with project gentlemen reminding me that those who seek god first and make jesus the king of their lives are the ones who truly win in life i can't wait to see you in this next video right here thank you for watching bye bye